Mamelodi have been crippled by illegal water pipe connections that the city of Tswane is blaming for the strain on water infrastructure and reservoirs. It says this is what's responsible for the two-week-long water outage in the area. But some residents are slamming the city for its lack of communication around how it plans to address the problem. Even as we speak, there are still active illegal connections. You can cut this off today, it'll be back tomorrow. So our first priority here is going to be to inform residents the reason for water shortages and stoppages is mainly mainly due to land invasions and illegal connections number two our priority is to get control of the site because if you don't have control of the site we can do whatever this connection today tomorrow will be back uh, and at the end of it we do need the support of the south african police law and order affects so much of the quality of services delivered to people the metro says it can't fight this criminality alone so it, it's disrupting a lot. What, this water situation is disrupting a lot, a lot. Of, it is disrupting our, our livelihood. It's a situation that needs to be attended. Maybe we need to bring in the Human Rights Commission. That's the only uh, a, 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 a commission that can come to our aid. The city says plans to improve water supply, estimated at a cost of about 18 million rand, are on the cards. But until this happens, residents will have to rely on the notoriously unreliable water trucks. Pule, Lee Treaty Jones, in Pretoria.